Bro, this is crazy. They'll chase this stuff right up to. Oh my God. Oh, my God. oh let's go, Devin. Oh, that's okay. I see you. Oh, Devin, 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 oh Devin, Devin, oh Devin, Devin. Last but not least, we've got to say, uh, a, what in tarnation X? Like, when you, that's weird. Devin, 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 Devin. That's a big fish. That's a big fish, Devin. That's a big fish, Devin. Oh my God. Oh, there we go. You don't fish. What's up guys, it's TJ and welcome over here to the Fishing with Yak Pack YouTube channel. I'm here today in uh, Devin's house actually. We got Dangling with Devin in the background. What we also have in the background is a $200 mystery tackle box reserve kit, okay? Now this is the world's most expensive mystery fishing box. So before we actually unbox this thing and get out on the water and go fishing, I got something I need you guys to do. I need you guys to go ahead and hit that red subscribe button if you have not already. 53% of you are not subscribed, so let's change that. While you're down there hitting the subscribe button, go ahead and hit the thumbs up on this video. And I, I tell you what, if we can get this video to 4,000 likes, I might just surprise somebody down in the comment section with one of these boxes right here. Now, you gotta get the video to 4,000 likes if you wanna make that happen. But with that said, the goal today, we're gonna unbox this thing, uh, and then we're gonna go take whatever we find in here, we're gonna go take some of the stuff out on the water and, uh, and go fishing. But let's, uh, let's see what, it comes inside it comes with a little sticker that explains like what it is i mean this is like this is like groundbreaking stuff i mean this is a 200 dollars mystery tackle box reserve like that is insane they're not a reel in here 200 dollars 200 265 value look at that yeah okay so yeah so you've got 200 dollars i paid 47 dollars for overnight shipping and it did oh, not ship overnight it did not all right so what is inside the uh the curated crate is overloaded with the finest fishing goods from the world's top brands. Assembled to uh, put you on the water faster and put fish in the boat. I don't say this, but fish in the boat or on the bank. Okay, uh, there's about, it says there's 32 to 40 items around a $265 value, limited edition fishing decal and tips to help you catch fish. Everybody loves some good tips. Well, we need that after yesterday. Whole, I'm telling you, yesterday's performance, zero out of 10, would not recommend. Yeah. Very tough day, but we're gonna cut this bad boy open and then uh, this, I'm excited. I, I saw these things for the first time. We did a, a, a Guggen Squad meetup in Pittsburgh, I think it was, for public lands. And I saw these things and I was like, bro, what? And then I instantly called my, my boy over at MTB. I was like, dog, I'm gonna need one of those ASAP. And he was like, bro, we don't have any. This was a limited edition thing that we did for public lands. And like, that was it. That was all they had. So how'd you get it? Yeah, well, a lot of searching on the internet. Like for the past probably two weeks, been looking, looking, looking everywhere. Literally has been out of stock, sold out. There was only a limited edition of these things made. They're not like a massive uh, production like thing. But anyways, I'm talking too much. Let's get, uh, let's get started. Unboxing this bad boy. Using a freaking 50 Ooh. year old steak knife. Steak knife. You might just need to open one side. Let's see. Are we going to surprise? No. Nah, uh, probably both sides, yeah. I got faith in you say this. We need this. Uh. Oh. All right, Dude, presentation. There's never been another box created. I mean, smell it. Gotta smell that. Smell that, y'all. Smells like wood. Really good wood. Hmm. And you know what you could do? You know what this box sets you up for, bro? Campfire. It sets you up for a catch and cook. Because you can burn the wood to with the you, you catch know? the fish with the bro, we're 20, we're living like 2040 out here. I'm just saying. Okay, so this wooden box could be used as like a collector's item or whatever you would want to use it for, a storage thing. Like Devin's got one wow. right here that I actually just broke. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I just broke it. I really just broke Devin's thing. No, I was already broke. Was already okay, okay, okay. I was going to say, <laughs> Devin's got one like right here that he uses, but use that too. Okay, let's see what you got. Why are you using a freaking right, Bro, it's statement. just what I grabbed. Don't tell Applebee's I stole this knife, all right? All right. I'm going to take a sneak peek before we, uh, before we show what's on. Jeez. Hold this real quick. Let's see what the. I'm gonna take a sneak peek before we 
Oh, bro, this is actually, Devin, we might. Actually catch this? Bro, this is crazy. Okay, I, Lord help us all. This is gonna be like, I, I'm like overwhelmed right now. I can't even imagine how you guys are finna feel. I'm just gonna start picking stuff out of the box, okay? First things first, we got a, uh, a big old swim bait right here. Weedless swim bait. Hey, weedless, oh yeah, we're definitely taking this because it do be kind of grassy in Jacksonville, Florida. We've got a Guggen Squad revolver. This you were talking about using, you needed one of those yesterday. This is my absolute favorite color of them too. Yeah, like, I, I like that color I too. Like yeah, and this look, sleeping on the uh, the Hummer. You know, the buzz bait right here. I ain't never really had too much luck with a buzz bait, but. I love buzz baits. People man. swear by that. Yeah, I love buzz baits, especially for like, pond fishing. We've got some Carl's Amazing Baits right here. We don't need this little piece of plastic. We're gonna throw this right here. What is, that's a cool looking, what is that? The Runt two inch, pretty cool looking. Let's see, a Grass Hero Guggen Jig. This is like some crazy, a tournament great, what is that? Strike Pro something else, so you guys can see it like that. Let's see what else. Oh, bro, these things are yeah, slayers. Bro. Yes, the Exo Stick. One of my all time favorite biospawn lures like ever, ever, ever created. You just bite a little. Yeah, you just literally just go bite for bite and you, you pretty much have a, an endless amount of worm. <laughs> like it's, it's crazy. I don't like how they put this in. Okay, this is a uh, pretty sick looking frog. What is this, Blitz? I Blitz never seen that. Pretty cool looking frog. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's a frog. Frog is a frog, right? Liquid mayhem, that's like your fish, like smelling attractant. Here's another book. This is fishing tips. And this is gonna be- uh, I got pictures. Disappearing into the thin water. Three frog fishing tips to catch more bass. Scorching hot fishing tips. Three ways to catch bass on a hot day. Uh, warm water walleye, pan fish in the heat. Four premier Florida fishing destinations. Hey. Hey, look, Jack hey, it's Jacksonville's on here. Jacksonville's on here. That's crazy. Dude, we haven't even put a dent in this box. Uh -oh. Like, it's literally like Christmas. We've got us, uh, that's a pretty cool looking color. It's like a whatever square bill. Uh, some headbanger rocker heads. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do too, guys. So I'm gonna lay all this stuff out in the floor as soon as we're done and get a shot of it so you guys can see actually like how much stuff is in this box. This I've never insane. seen a square, but it's a jabber jaw. We've got a, a live target. I think this is some sort of like top water, something or another. Shiner, it's a shiner. That would be a good peacock lure for sure. They love, they love that kind of stuff. Okay, so, oh, these are good. I've used these before. I've caught plenty of fish on these. Yeah. The hoax fish. They're thick too. They're very thick. You're not gonna like, I don't know, they're not gonna like bust apart. You know, I don't, I don't yeah. We got a Bass Mobile sticker that we're gonna put on Devin's refrigerator here in a little bit. Oh, right. yeah. That was a square bill crankbait. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Lojo, Lojo made a video fishing with one of these in like 2019, and I literally watched him scream. He was so mad because he just good. could not catch a fish <laughs> yeah. on it, bro. It was so funny. He, look, I don't think I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever seen Lozo that mad. Next up, we've got some uh, some net bait. I don't even know what these, the Dagger 4.5. I actually just, like, I think I just caught some fish in a video not too long ago using those in that exact color too. Those are actually pretty cool. I mean, Jimbo, you can't yeah. go wrong. You can't go wrong. And we got some BD swim baits. Oh, those are cool. They're like transparent or translucent, right? You can see through them. Which one is which? Translucent or transparent? Translucent. translucent. Let's see. What is this? Oh, the Carl's Amazing Bait, the little spinner bait thing. Transgender. Tra mm. Mm. Perfect color <laughs> right here. This is perfect. Let's see. We've got Gambler Crickets. I don't know. It's like this, you know, this is a good. Mm. BFS lure. Eh, it's like a fall color kind of thing. Ah, I'm not, not crazy about Yo, this. You're not showing me anything. You're just showing them. You're literally standing there. You yeah, but you're going. at it. I am. Oh, finesse Shads. I'm telling you, bait finesse system, we in this BFS. All right, we've got some gambler flapping shads. Uh, uh, I've, I've fished with these like plenty of times. so much more. more. Dude, they, I know, it's, just, it's crazy how much, that's a cool looking color right there. Another little square bill. The X Zone, uh, these are just like some Adrenaline Bug Junior. This, uh, the color right there is pretty cool too. It's like some purple and black. Eh, that's all right. The Sakoshi Bug. Sakushi, Shikoshi, 
Like I said, 10,000 fish, gotta show some love. Do be catching fish sometimes. See, oh my gosh, bro, these are insane. Weston oh, kills it, I swear they do. The Cree Crawl, or Cray Crawl, however you say it. It's like a crazy looking, crazy looking crawfish bait. What does it say? And an easy scent? How do you say that? A nice? A N I S E, scent. I don't know what that means though. Uh, we gotta smell, smell it. it. Plastic. It smells like plastic. For real? Yeah, it smells like plastic. Yeah, it smells like every other. Honestly, I'm gonna use these today. Well, as you should. All right, let's see what we've got here. This is like some crazy, this is a, a tube X. So pretty much it's just a little tube, a very thin tube, and it makes an X. Like when you, that's weird. Finesse jig. This, dude, I'm. That's a cool little color to me. Yeah, I like that. It's like a fire crawl, kind of. I am, in, this is insane how much stuff is in this. Like I, I don't even, what else do we got here? Um, What's inside? Here's a QR code. I don't know if you guys can like pause the video and <laughs> scan it. I don't know. Is that how you do scan this? Scan this doohickey with your phone's camera. Box for our footage videos. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's, well, there you go. You can see even like for yourself, I guess if you pause the video and like screenshot the QR code. What is this? Oh boy, what? Oh, that's a Japanese lure. What is that? Just spin a bait. Dude, that's crazy. I mean, a spinner bait is a spinner bait is a spinner bait, but the JDM, look at the back, dude. I'm fascinated with like JDM like stuff. I want I want to do like a JDM only video. I think that'd be really cool. And what we got here? We've got the revolver. Here you go, Devin. You need the. It's just a little thing that shows you like how to fish the revolver and stuff like that. You're gonna probably need that today. The Yodo worm. These things are really good. Uh, slept on, slept on. But these things are really good for uh, Norm. I've seen Norm use these a lot for like chatterbait trailers. Uh, oh, I like that color. Yeah, I know. It's a really, really good color. Like, look at this. Uh, irresistible tickle tail. What color is that? Green pumpkin pearl. What am I talking about? It's green pumpkin pearl. So it's like that pro blue pearl red shad, whatever you want to call that. But that's a really good little trailer thing. We've got a duo. This is a, a really good looking, just like a little lipless crankbait kind of little duo. And last but not least, we've got to say, uh, a, what in tarnation? <laughs> Do you see that? <laughs> it's like a, a buzz bait slash a whopper plopper slash like a noisemaker, I guess. I don't, I don't know. That's pretty cool. But that is, uh, that's what's in the box. Let me lay this stuff out on the... Uh, I might even do it on the dang ground. So much stuff. That's what I'm saying. We'll have to do it on the ground. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a lot of stuff. And uh, we, I'll tell you what we're going to do, Devin. We're going to pick like... Cause there's no way, just as bad as fishing is right now in the winter, there's no way we go out and catch a fish on every single one of those. Absolutely not. Not happening, not, not in the winter time. But we're gonna pick, pick your three top things that you, I'll let you go first here. No, go one, 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 one. Maybe. Oh, like elementary school, yeah. when you would get picked for dodgeball, yeah. I always got picked last, but we won't talk about that. That just, you know, it is what it is. All right, let's see what you got. You won the dodgeball champion? 19. 40? Mm -hmm. I never go so Wait, so I'm going first? Yeah, pick your favorite. <sighs> revolver dog. You going revolver? I know it's winter and it's cold, but Jacksonville will sometimes be on one, so. Revolver is. Revolver. I want the Japanese one. I was dead set on this ah. one, dude. I was dead set on this one. <laughs> hey, moving bait right now, this is gonna be special color. I don't know what that says. I don't know what kind of color that is. But it says special color. We're going with this one. So I kind of already planned this out. I have a chatterbait. I don't want to throw. Oh, I see what you did. I see what you did. I don't okay. Throw the tickle tails on. Fair so enough. You said, wait, what color was this? The green pumpkin pearl. Yeah. I got a stealth blade chatterbait with some chartreuse to, uh, on it. It'd be fire. Okay. Especially where we're going. Yeah. Big chatterbait spot. I'm. I'm like. Oh man, okay, going with it. Oh, lure oh. number two for fishing with Yak Pack. We've got the, uh, who is this? Duo? Duo International lipless crankbait. So, two moving baits so far on the list for me. I don't, uh, we're gonna work. We're gonna, hey, hopefully, fishing is different today <laughs> than it has been the past two days. Facts. All right, lure number two or three for you? Number this three. This will be number three. Let's see what you got. Scoot this way a little bit. So, there you go. 
I mean, I told you I wanted to use it when we were unboxing it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab it. Oh gosh, the Weston Crawl, son. Okay. Junebug. Okay. That's dude. That's that lure I mean, right there. Let me get a zoom shot. These Weston, uh, like baits right here. What are they called? The the Cree Crawl. Cree Crawl. Cree Crawl or something like that. Like those are some good looking fishing. No, I'm yeah. not gonna lie, dude. Nah, just throwing them on like a little jig head out yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're uh, you're, you're pretty stacked right there. Let's yeah. See. And I kind of cheated because I technically got four because I'm going to throw these on a chatterbait. So I got four baits. Uh, it works. Well, I will allow it. Thank you. Well, don't do that. Yeah, don't drop that. All right. Number three. For me. Thank you. Sorry. Thanks. I knew good. it. <laughs> you, yeah. And it's in green pumpkin too. Like the best all around fishing color like ever made ever. Maybe besides like black and blue or watermelon. But this hands down. Can't beat it. So we've got our three lures picked out. Let's put them right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Team Devin, he has his lures. Team Yak Pack, I have mine. Drop your comments before we go out and fish down in the comment section below. Number one, what do you guys think about this $200 MTB Reserve fishing crate right here? What do y'all think about that? And number two, who do y'all think is gonna win today's fishing challenge? Okay, now listen to me. Oh, listen. Biggest fish win. Because right. it's been a struggle. It's been a struggle to catch fish lately. So we're just gonna go biggest fish wins. Yesterday, yesterday, I won a $100 fishing challenge, 1v1 with me and him, with a, what, a quarter pound? Three quarter pound or something? Yeah, maybe. like a three quarter of a pounder or something. <laughs> like it was insane. So that's how tough fishing's been. But we're gonna put in some freaking time today in search of a big fish. So with that said, I will see you guys on the GoPro on the water in like two seconds. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here now at the uh, the first spot of the day. Hopefully, hopefully this is the only spot that we have to go to. I mean, there's a bunch of little like like miniature lakes or massive ponds in here, whatever you would want to call that. I'm not too sure, but I'm gonna be starting out with the little this contraption right here, this lipless. Devin, what are you starting with? Yeah, the with the trailer. Oh, he's got the the Yodo worm tied on right now, so. Heck yeah. Sounds good. I walked up on that corner right there. There was like a two or three pounder sitting on the bank. Really? Mm -hmm. I spooked him though. I didn't see him until last second. First time I came here with Norm, we were walking right here. There's about five or six pounders just dead. Yeah, there's big ones in this whole community. Me and Norm stood here one time. We fished here for this entire neighborhood, man. Unt uh, touched every piece of water six hours we probably fished here walking the banks me him trey and zade yeah nope me and trey left five minutes later got a phone call he's holding a five and a half pounder in his hand <laughs> i'll be out here yeah. oh there we go Yo, Oh my God, I got, oh dude. Yeah, that hurt. Mm. I watched this dude freaking. Bro, that was insane. What in the absolute heck? <laughs> bro, he was booking it, bro. I'm talking this mug, absolutely just chomp like at the freaking bank. That's a healthy fish, dude. Yeah, it is. It's really healthy. He's good. good. I bet you he's cold. Feel him. Think so? Not I that mean, cold? My hands are cold, too. So. Yeah, that's a good fish to start with the day. I mean, that's, uh, we'll call it, you know, pretty close to two pounds. Yeah, oh, he's over two. You think so? Heck yeah. I was being generous. Okay, we'll call it like a YouTube six pounder, but let's right, freaking go. First fish of the day. Kind of jacked my shoulder up on that one because yeah, yeah. right here at the grass line, just unexpected, just yeah. crunched yeah. it. But I mean, it makes sense. Chasing bait right into the grass. Yeah. Line. Dude, this is gonna be, I'm not even kidding you, this will be a 10 pounder one today. Look at look at his eyes. Like that'll be a 10 pounder one day for sure. But let's freaking go, boys. That's that's how you want to start the freaking day. Yes. Good job, man. Ow. He literally followed it straight to the grass on. That was pretty freaking cool. I watched him eat it too as I was like getting ready to lift it out of the water, you know? That was yeah, that was crazy. I swear, I don't know what it is, man. It's just, they'll chase this stuff right up to. Oh my god, oh my god. Yo, he's big. He's big. <laughs> Devin, Devin. Bro, I just threw the. I just, I just, what? Devin, I just put this freaking fish. <laughs> Devin, I just threw that fish back, bro. I just threw it back. 
I just threw him back. Can you take some fish for the rest of the dogs? Oh, okay. Yo, that is a whole fish. That's four all day. It's in his jaw right here, though. Hang on. I got flyers in you. Uh-uh. I j literally, I'm not even kidding. I just freaking, literally just threw that Dude, back. No, that was your next cast. Literally, next cast. Are you kidding me? Yeah, he's probably right at four. He's got to be, dude. Look at this thing. Like, I'm trying to get you guys a freaking, this thing, dude. I, bro, what? You got the sauce right now. I know. I don't want to, I want to change baits because I got two more baits to use, but I don't want to change. You know what I'm saying? Like. I'm jealous. I'm jealous <laughs> of me. All right, ladies and gents, one last look. This is every bit of a four pounder for sure. So we're six pounds. Yeah. Like we've got six already. So let's go, dude. Off he goes, just like that. There he is. Look at him, he's right here. Say I won't. Try, you better hurry up, he's right there. He got spooked. <laughs> that was crazy. I I would absolutely die if he bit Whoa. that. <gasps> Devin, God! Did you not see him eat it? Yeah, he, he took a bite at it. Are you kidding me? Bro, those fish can't be that hungry. What the heck? Devin just, I just released that fish. And he swam right here, down here. Devin put his lure in the in the fish's face, and that same exact fish just bit at Devin's lure, dude. What the heck? What is going on? Oh my gosh, that was a freaking dude. I'm three cast in, and I've got six pounds of fish. Let's freaking go, boys. That is what you like to see. Oh God, Devin, that's a going. That's a going. That's a going. That's a going, Devin. That's a going. How's it going, Devin? Don't they fight? How's it going, Devin? Let's go. Let's freaking go. Bro, that is a good dish. Let's go. And that's the Yodo? The yeah. trailer? The Yodo trailer? Dude. Not as big as yours, but I mean, he's three. That's every bit of three, yeah. bro. Look how chunky he is, <laughs> I was man. Just about to say. Are you kidding? These fish. Why yes. y'all acting like y'all hungry, dog? That's what I'm saying. Mate, keep being there. hungry, though. Keep being hungry. We need that. Heck yeah, Especially dude. after a day. Like yesterday? Like yesterday, bro. Let's go. I mean, he's literally got a two pounder's mouth for three. Yeah, yeah. Body. That's, dude, look, dude, do that again. Do that again. Just hold him just like that. Look how thick, bro. That's a football. Yeah. No, oh legit. my gosh, boy. Let's go, man. Peace. Off he goes, bro. Let's. I had a feeling, I put my, uh, I had a feeling it was about to get bit, so I put my rock yeah. tip right here and was just holding it. Yeah. Straight. You yeeted on him. <laughs> Let's go, bro. I don't want to, I want to change baits, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I don't want to change baits <laughs> yet. <laughs> I don't want to change baits just yet. And you did the same thing, just like every single other one takes you right up to this. Yeah. We walked, what, 50 feet? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> I might need to go back, Devin, to a um, a right-handed reel just until my shoulder completely heals because it really, really hurts setting the hook like with my right hand. Like I ain't trying to be no sissy, you know what I'm saying? But like this, like it hurts. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. Sissy boy. All right, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, boys. I'm gonna fish this thing for like another 10 or 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna switch up to the, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna switch up to something. But I'm gonna give this like 10 or 15 more minutes because if, if I got, you know, three fish already, three solid fish yeah. on moving baits, like. You don't stop going. <laughs> nah, you don't, <laughs> nah. Not when fishing's been as tough as it's been. And I sure would hate to fight an eight pounder right now. Oh, Devin. Oh God! You just I was trying to, I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to get mine in so fast. He was stuck in that grass. I was like, uh, you might have just called it eight. <laughs> Yo, I was eight, bro. Bro, don't, tell me this fish are not hungry for moving bait. Jeez, Before bro. you take the hook out, show them again. That's that's exactly how that fish ate that bait. Like that's what like those those these fish are hungry for something moving. That is exactly what we want to see. Yeah, look at his eyeball. He's blind in that eye. That's crazy. Yeah. That's, yeah, that is crazy. I never seen that. Look, does that mean does that mean that fish is blind in that eye? It's got to be right. Show I him mean, the other eye. Hang on. Show him this one. Flip him around. He's definitely got to be blind in this eye. Him. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, get him back if he's hey, blind. Man, if you ever hit me again like that, we got problems. I, I know, man. That man well, woke up prepared for violence <laughs> this morning. 
he just hits your freaking hits your thing like yeah and you set the hook on him like eight pounder like right as i was saying i sure would hate to fight an eight pounder <laughs> oh let's go Devin. oh that's okay I see. Oh, Devin, 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 oh my Devin, Devin, oh my God. Devin, oh Devin, my God. Devin. All right, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Devin, that's a big fish. Oh, Devin, that's a big fish, bro. That's a big fish. Okay, okay, I'm not going to lie. His, when he, his when, mouth looked. <laughs> when he jumped, dog, I thought it was a 10, bro. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you either. I thought so, too. I thought that bad boy was a 10. What is that? That's that's probably three. Three, three and yeah. some chains. Three. I mean, they're all like Dude, look how here, like dude. thick, just healthy fish. I mean, this is a prom like. Yeah. I ain't gonna say that on camera, but like, bro, good freaking catch. All right, throw him back because I think somebody should have. Yo. Let's freaking go, bro. Hey, when he head shook though, I was like, bro, that's a yeah. I said Devin, 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 Devin. Bro, I thought it was a 10-pounder. I'm not even lying. I thought I thought it was two, Oh, his head out there looks so freaking big. Devin out here catching big heads. Oh my God. What? What happened? Oh. oh Devin, 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 Devin. That's a big fish. That's a big fish, Devin. Oh, bro, he's That's a big fish, Devin. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. It feels so big. Get down. Get down. No, don't touch it. Don't touch it. I lost him. <laughs> was he a five? Nah, he was four, three, three. three. I'm not gonna three lie. plus like five. <laughs> yeah, he was. <laughs> well, was I know, dude. I was just fixing to make a comment too about uh, like where I cast it. If you guys pay attention to that on the GoPro, I was about to say that's where we've been getting most of our bites, about 15 or 20 feet off the bank. And what what was what do you say that fish was for real? No joke. Three. Uh, yeah, at most at most four. Three. Okay. So it didn't hurt my feelings that much, but he, he was running like eight. Yeah, no, he was. We just had this conversation too. What do y'all say when you set the hook into a fish? <laughs> Clearly, I say Devin, Devin, Devin. <laughs> oh man. Oh lord. Oh gosh, let's go, Devin. I just freaking I was re-rigging my stuff. Let's go, Devin. Go, Devin. Hit it three times. Go, Devin. There's a big bluegill right there. You see that? Fat boy bluegill. Oh gosh. Let's go, Devin. Let's go, Devin. Oh. I was literally just sitting here thinking we had somebody tell us there was a six pounder caught right here. I was like, I wonder if I'm gonna catch him. That wasn't I don't even know how he was hooked. He just had it swallowed. Yeah, and he was just not letting go. Uh, one and a half. That's two. I'll give it two for sure. I'll give it two. Let's go though, dude. There he goes. Oh man. Dude, I was literally sitting down. I was fixing to like re-rig my stuff up. I was gonna cut that thing off and retie it because my line feels a little frayed up. Yeah. <laughs> I, oh, yeah. As I as I shut the GoPro off, Devin's like, "Got one." <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Thank you, yeah, bro. And we are uh, actually here now at Norm's house, and that is going to bring this video to a close. Uh, Devin and I. I mean, we caught some really good fish in this video, so yeah, there's absolutely not one single thing that I can complain about. But again, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you guys want to uh, get your MTB for as low as $10, click the link down in the description below. With that said, I love you guys. Let me know what y'all want to see next, and we'll catch y'all on the next adventure. Peace.